alleged police excesses that led to the death of some protesters are now explaining the frustrations they are facing as they try to give evidence before the relevant authorities. This making the families' chances of getting justice very slim. The families have expressed lack of faith in the investigative agencies and are demanding that they are assured of action being taken over the deaths. As Sheila Chelangat details. On the 25th of June, Ivan Skiratu Karobia met his untimely death. The cause of death identified as multiple organ injuries due to blood force trauma after participating in the anti-government protests. The, the, the shots are being uh, 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 shot all over and people are scampering all over as we are being chased out away from the, from the CBD. Uh, that's when a few meters from where I was, uh, uh, people started now shouting that, oh, they've killed one of us, they've hit one of us, and uh, someone has been hit. James, not his real name, is the good Samaritan who assisted Evans after he was hit by a tear gas canister and took him to hospital. It was the most terrifying moment ever in my life. I'm holding a young man with clutching his hands on me and tell me please don't let me die don't let me die his case is among the four that reached the office of the director of prosecutions from ipoa on the deaths and injuries related to the protests <laughs> the bone of contention however is that no one had yet to come forth and give a statement this has however been contested by some witnesses i shared even the possible camera angles there were approximately seven cameras where they could be able to get and gather information where a very credible investigative agency would literally do a closure of this case within a matter of hours. We drew even a map indicating where and how to a point that even a stand two kid could be able to describe the whole thing. And according to the family, this has been the greatest hindrance in their quest for justice. Sasa ni nani atasimama polisi mwenye aseme ni mimi nilirusha hiyo. We can't say that we know. Similarly, the family of 19-year-old Ibrahim Kamau, who died during the Occupy Parliament protests, say their efforts to record their statement with Ipoa has proven futile. Marafiki zake wanyolinda na yeye. Wako na audio, walinitumia audio. Mwenye alimwona amepigwa risasi, walikuwa na yeye. Alisasa alikuwa anapigia mwenzake story. Alikuwa na yeye akipigwa risasi akashikilia shingo wakienda kumsaidia polisi akawapigia pia risasi unaona so unexpect huyo mtu kama mimi mwenyewe taikuniambia mbele ya serikali atenda kuongea for this affected families a listening ear and action is all they seek for in finding justice for their loved ones tuitendeke kwa Ibrahim their joint call is for President William Ruto to walk his talk and help them find closure for their kin. Sheila Chalangat for TV 47. Thank you.